HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory here with Jonas Lursel today. Jonas, thank you for joining us and welcome to Huddersfield Town. Thank you. This transfer seems to have happened very quickly from my seat. When did you first learn about Huddersfield's interest? Uh, only a few days ago, to and be honest. It also, it also happened pretty quickly for me. And was it a, a tough decision for you? Because it's a, it's a move of country, you've yeah. got a young family. How, how hard did you have to think about this decision? Not much. Not much at all. I was pretty interested from the beginning. This is a great opportunity for me and uh, after speaking with, uh, with, uh, with the coach, I was convinced. The coach has just signed a new contract here today. Yeah, yeah. What kind of things did he say to you? How did he sell Huddersfield Town to you as a club? Um, he told me about his philosophy, his way of playing. He told me about the town and how the feeling is here. Uh, how much passion there is from, from the people and of course he told me the story. The, the amazing story of last season and about the game and I also have to be honest I, I google all the pictures now all the <laughs> video from from your last game against Reading and it's incredible to see. I imagine Huddersfield Town is a, a new name to you as a club but when everything you've learned and everything you've seen so far do you think mm. it will be a, a good fit for you as a person? I hope so I yeah for sure I'm, <laughs> I'm really I'm really hungry to to, to get started now uh, it's going, it's going to be fantastic. I, all I've read, all I've heard, my, my, my talks with coach, with the sports director now, I'm, oh. yeah, I'm convinced. Um, this is the fourth country you've played football in now. Mm. So you started in Denmark, went mm. to France, played in Germany last season. Yeah. As a goalkeeper, does football change much for you? Because it's still the same basic job, keep the ball out of the net. But is it different for you? Do you have to learn new things? Yeah, I have to. But I can also get a lot of experiences from it. Mm. I hope that I can use that here also to bring my experience now from from four country from three other countries, uh, and and I feel ready now. I feel ready now for the for the biggest scene. That's the, yeah, that's the biggest dream. It's always been that. Our head coach likes the goalkeepers to use their feet a lot and yeah. to, to start the passing. Are you comfortable yeah. with that? A lot, Excellent. very comfortable. Excellent. Yeah. That's good news. Um, as well as football experiences, you must have some great life experiences outside football from living in, in lots of different countries. Are you looking forward to, to living in England with your family? Yeah, uh, it's always been a dream for me to experience a lot of new cultures and to live in other countries. Uh, so this is going to be the next one. And I always, as I told you before, dreamed about coming here, of course because of the Premier League, but also to, to experience the, the English culture. We've dreamed about the Premier League as yeah. well, and now it's real, yeah, and, yeah. and everyone's very, very excited. Yeah. How big is the Premier League in Denmark when you were growing up as, as a kid that likes football? The biggest. Yeah. yeah, nothing beside it, nothing near to it. It's the biggest. Did you have a favourite team? If I had a favourite team, yeah. yeah. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I looked at the menu. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did. As the one successful at the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, successful, and they had a Danish goalkeeper as well, right? Of course, Peter Schmeichel. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, there's lots of change going on here at the moment uh, to prepare for the Premier League. You've, mm. you've you've got a new sponsor on your shirt. Yeah. There's a lot of building at the stadium. Uh, what do you think of the John Smith Stadium? It's your first visit here today. Do you like the look of the place? Yeah, really. It looks very nice. I like the forest in the background, and you you feel the atmosphere. People sit close to the field, yes. and I can imagine that the the atmosphere is. It's intense, so it's going to be an advantage, hopefully. Um, it's not long now until you meet your new teammates. You yeah. start back at the training ground next week. Yeah. Perfect for you that you get to, to come and get straight into the football? For sure. I'm very happy that the timing of this, that I can also be a part of the preseason at the first day mm. to come here, probably with some new players as well, uh, meet the team, get a good view of this, and get into the preseason. I've not met one footballer who enjoys preseason. Do you like all the running, all the fitness? I'm a goalkeeper. Of course, I don't like the running. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really hungry to get into the preseason, to get started now. It's been a long vacation, so mm. my, my feet are, yeah. What, what, what do you say? We would say itchy feet. A, a bit itchy, yeah. yeah awesome. Well, welcome to the Town, yeah. Thank you very much.